Ah, in this video I will show how you can install SQL Server uh, 2022 um, Express. So here is the web page where you can download uh, SQL Server uh, Express and other versions as well. Basically you can just in Google just click or search for download SQL Server Express and then this uh, web page will appear. So then here you have different versions of SQL servers. Here in the bottom you have you can download a free edition of SQL uh, server. You can choose between developer version or express version. The express uh, version has everything that you need for small projects. So I choose to install the express version. So I just click download now. And then a file has been um, downloaded to my computer in the downloads folder. So here is the setup package. I just double click on it in order to install the SQL Server. So this is SQL Server 2022 uh, Express uh, Edition. So I click yes. And then you can choose between basic, custom, or you can download the media. I choose uh, to select the custom, then you have more uh, control of what you are going to install. Uh, if you choose the basic, you just install the basic installation. I guess that's uh, good enough for most purposes. But I prefer to choose custom, then you can specify what you want to install. So then let's just uh, select custom. And then here it's asked for a um, location. So this is a location where uh, the, the downloaded file should be um, uh, or the SQL Server uh, setup should be downloaded. So I just choose the default one. These files will be uh, deleted later. So then I just choose uh, install. Then it takes some time to download the necessary installation packages. So now the installation package has been uh, downloaded and now we are ready to start installing uh, the SQL Server. So then this pops up. Here you have different options. So then we want to install a new SQL Server standalone installation on our computer. So then I just select this one. And then the setup is preparing to install uh, the necessary packages. So here first I license uh, is, uh, information. I just accept, accept it and click next. So then some in install rules pops up. It has been uh, checked different um, things on your computer, if it's okay or not, and then uh, it seems to be okay. So then I just click uh, next. Here uh, you, are, you are asked for some Azure extension. Um, if you have an Azure account, you can of course add information re uh, regarding your Azure account, but for my case, I just remove it and then click next. And then here you are asked for what you want to install. You need to install the database engine services and then I just basically select the default options. And here you can specify the location where you want to install it. I also just choose the default location. Of course you can change it if you want to. but. Basically, just leave the default options and then click next. Next, you are asked for a name of your instance. So you can either choose the default instance or in this case, since I'm installing SQL Server Express, I just select uh, the default choice here, named instance and SQL Express. And then the instance name will be SQL Express. So make sure to remember this name. Take a screenshot of this um, installation. So we have this name for later. So then just click uh, next. Here in the next step, you are asked for some server configuration. Basically just leave the default one. So then just uh, click next. Next, you are asked for some uh, authentication mode. So you can choose between Windows authentication mode. I guess that's okay in most cases, but typically I want to have uh, the best of uh, both worlds. So I choose mixed mode. Then you can um, 
later choose between using SQL Server authentication or Windows authentication. So then I recommend mix mode because then you have all options later and you want to uh, where you can choose between either using SQL Server authentication and Windows authentication. And then you are asked for a password for the so-called system administrator. That's a um, user account inside SQL Server. So S uh, the name, uh, the account name is SA, short for system administrator. So then you can enter a proper name for that uh, uh, user. So just make sure to rem remember that password for later. So then choose mix mode and then enter a proper password for this SA account. No, uh, just click next. And it seems I was uh, entering two different passwords, so then I just try to enter the password once more. Like this. So make sure to enter a password that you can remember for later. So now uh, the installation is uh, starting. So this takes uh, may take uh, several minutes. So now the installation is uh, complete. So then uh, you have a overview of uh, feature series that has been successfully installed. So see, it seems that everything has been installed successfully. So then just click uh, close. So now we have uh, uh, been installing SQL Server Express uh, 2022, but you also need to install uh, something called SQL Server Management Studio. So then I just select uh, this link. And then you are going to this uh, download page. So download SQL Server Management Studio. And then just find uh, the installation package here. So basically click on this link, free download for SQL Server Management Studio. This is the latest version, so just click on this link. And then this installation package are downloaded to your computer, so you can install this SQL Server Management Studio. So now the installation package has been uh, installed, and then I can just go to the download folder, and then I have this um, SQL Server Management Studio uh, installation package. So then I just um, select this one. So then this window pops up. So Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio with Azure Data Studio. So then just click install in order to install this package. So then I do this, do that. Just click the install button. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes. So the setup is now installing different packages, so it, this setup or installation may take some time. So now the installation is uh, finished, so Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio, and you need to restart in order to complete the setup. So just click the restart button, and then you will be finished. So now we have installed SQL Server Express and the SQL Server Management Studio. So the next step now is to make sure that everything works as expected. So then just go to the start menu, search for SQL Server Management Studio. So just click on this link. I also right click on it to pin it to my taskbar for later. And basically just click on this one and then SQL Server Management Studio will pop up. And that's the tool that you are going to use in order to interact and communicate with the SQL Server database. So you use this SQL Server Management Studio in order to set up your database. And the first step is to connect to the database. So then uh, the name of the server will typically be like this. So this is the name of my computer and then is the name of the instance that you was choosing during the setup. So in my case, name of my computer and then slash SQL Express. And then you can choose between two different authentication, either Windows authentication, then just select Windows authentication and then connect or during the setup, we was asked for this mixed mode where we could either choose between Windows authentication or SQL Server authentication. And during the setup, we was 
asking for a password for this SA user. So then I just type the password for my SA user and then click. And you can also click here to remember the password or just click connect. And now you are inside the database and here to the left you see your database. And since this is a new database, there is no databases here now. So basically you can right click on databases, select new database. And then you are asked for a database name. I can create a new database. So assume I just want to create a, a book store or something, a book system. So then I just name my database book system. You can of course name it whatever you like, depending on your needs. But just need to specify a name here and then click OK. And then here to the left you see your database has been created. Then you can click on this plus sign and then you have the tables. So far there are no tables. And then you have views, stored procedures, etc. So basically here on the tables. So the next step now is to either install your tables from um, from your uh, database design, assuming you use uh, Urban Data Modeler for your database design, then you can use Urban Data Modeler for creating a database or a table script that you can install here in SQL Server. So then just click on tables and then you can click on new query. And then you can open that script that you have created uh, using Irwin or similar software. So I have already created a table script. So I just click open file. I go to my computer, select the folder where this um, script has been created. So then here I have a table script called book tables.sql. So I just double click on it. And then you see here, I have a script with a table called author, publisher, book and chapter. So basically, in order to install these tables, you can just click the execute button. And then here I can refresh on the tables. And then you see these tables has now been installed in my SQL Server database. You can also create tables here in the SQL Server Management Studio by right click on tables new and table. So then you are also allowed to create tables here directly in SQL Server Management Studio. But typically it's a good idea to use a design tool like Urban Data Modeler or similar. Then create a table script which you can use for easily installation of the necessary tables. Next step now would be to create some uh, uh, data inside the different tables. So let's assume we want to create some data into the author table. Then I can just right click on the author table and edit top 200 rows. So then I can just specify our author name here, a version, and an email. something like this and then just click uh, enter and then this author has been created in the database so then you can just create new databases and uh, sorry new authors like creating a new author name and a new email and then you see the author id has been created automatically with number one and then next it will be number two etc because i have used identity one one here and uh, when i was uh, creating the table script as you see here so in the author this defined as an identity 11 meaning that this primary key has been inserted auto automatically by the system. Then next go to the um, publisher table. I right click on it, edit top 200 row, publisher name, um, Wiley or something and an email. and now I have also created a publisher and then 
this publish ID has been also automatically uh, been inserted. So the, the next step now would be to create a book. So then right click on the book, edit top 200 row, and then you have the book ID, which will be automatically created. And then you have a book title. Let's create a book. Programming summary, it just could be something. Author ID was inserted in this table and it has an author ID of one and the same with the publisher. So then I just click enter and then this book has been created in the database. I can also uh, click here new query and then create a query like this select from book like this and click execute and then you see that this book has been created in the database. You can also see the table design here in SQL Server Management Studio by clicking on the database diagram. Just right click new database diagram and just click yes. And then here you can choose the chapters that has been already created. Click add. On close. And then you can right click on them, select table view and use uh, standard and then you see it has the author table and the publisher table i can also right click here standard standard and standard like this so now you basically see the database uh, design of my four tables i have an author table publisher book and chapter Basically, this is the same design that I was creating using the Irwin Data Modeler uh, tool. So that's also good luck with SQL Server and SQL Server Management Studio. Thank you and goodbye.